שלום ל... שלום ל... everyone, how you doing? How you doing? Today I'm here to a uh, host, just you know, or to speak about laziness. Ah, to sell. Or maybe say ah, to sell. Ah, to sell. Yes, in the words, it did speak about laziness. It did talk about laziness, and it did speak about laziness. And while we was listening, we were speaking about the word laziness. Laziness is a, it's a bad spirit. A bad spirit. Sitting around, don't do nothing, just or, or you at work, don't do nothing. And it's bad, because you the one had to be the type to depend on. And when you depend on, they're going to keep depending on you to do all the job. And I know it's happened to you at work and home. And that's how the issues it start to begin, and when the issues carry on. That's how you become argument, you know, with your wife, your husband, because something that should be done in the house. Like for example, if I tell my wife and say, hey, well, I'm single. <laughs> if you tell your wife and say, hey, um, you know, would you go to the grocery store for me? Uh, you know, cause uh, you know, you go be at work and she's off, just tell her, say, hey, if she's off and you tell her, say, to go to grocery. It really doesn't matter either he or she, you know? If you tell them, hey, go grocery for me, and she busts her say, well, I, I'll wait for you till you come home, this and that. The time you come home from work, you'll be tired. You'll be exhausted. You'll be feeling like I can't do other thing. It would not be right if you had to go grocery store and then and then you go from here, and then you go from there, and then you come home tired, and then you already bring the food in the house, and then tired, and then she at home all day, he or she at home all day. It would not be right. No, it's not right. She have to do something. Now, if she's dis disabled or and she can't do nothing, then you do what you have to do to help her. Master Yah would not be mad for that. Hamashiach will not be mad. Messiah will not be mad. No, that's Messiah. He will not get mad if it's dealing with disability or disabled. Or she might have some type of accident. You help her. You just gotta try to do the best you can to do what you have to do. And also, you know, when I was talking about home, you have to do something. You have to clean the house. You have to do everything. That's all that is. It's had to be take care because that's part of responsibility. Not to be lazy. Not to be laid back on none of that. And now, Thessalonians. chapter four. Verse 11 and 12. If you read it, if you read a verse, it says, Make it your ambitions to lead quite life to mind your own business and to work with your hands just as we told you. So, outsiders, and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. Now, if you're on a job, now if you're on a job, same day as job and home. That's the two subject to you, job and home. 
It ain't no different. It ain't no different. But you have to work. Now, job-wise, you got some people in the job saying, oh, you know, uh, hey, man, would you do that for me? Would you do this for me? They pat you in the back and they say, oh, yeah, like, thank you. You end up doing all his work. And some managers be like, hey, you know, like, man, let them do it. Let them do it. We ain't going to say nothing. Let them do all the job, you know, because they will take advantage of you. Mm-hmm. And Yahshua don't like laziness. No, he don't like laziness. But people at work, you think those people at work gonna be like, hey, you know, they gonna sit around, some of them be grouping, and some of them will blame on you, say, oh, you don't do it, you don't do it, but, and you know the truth that they ain't make no moves to do something, and you know the truth, they ain't make no moves. Of course they gonna blame on you, because they, they the main ones to go append on you. Even the boss could get mad, or whoever, they would get mad at you. Now, I speak something in general, in life. And you know what? That's how Lucifer could use people, to turn around and portray you quick and say, oh, you, he did this, he did that, and you're the only one that's working, and then they're going to look at you, and they're they going to take all your credit and make it seem like they do all the job, but they ain't do nothing, he or she. His or her. It don't matter. They have to work. They have to do something. It's on the word. If you read it, check it on the Old Testament. On the Old Testament also. On Proverbs. Proverbs. Chapter 10. Verse four through five. If you check this out, he becometh poor that doth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligence maketh rich. And he that gathered in summer is a wise son, but he that sleep in harvest is a son that causes shame. Wow. Hear that. Now it's on Proverbs on the Old Testament. And it's on the New Testament. It's rephrasing on you. And a phrase it, phrase it. The whole world should know by that. If you look at it on the former country, all the work, 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 work. But I don't like to use the word former. I should say around the world. Around the world, they work. They don't sit there to waste time. Especially if you're in the middle of time of sorrow, you got to tighten up and do what you have to do. It's not going to be easy. We understand it's hard. But you have to keep, keep up, keep up, do what you have to do. And Yah will provide you and keep up with you and help you. It's only between you and Yah, nobody else. Because you don't need to depend on them. They ain't depend on you. You have to work. You do what you have to do. Now, I understand some people don't have no job and this, that. That's why you have to get up and keep trying the best you can. Sign application everywhere as much as you can. That's straight up legit, isn't it? Back in the days of old, if we had back in the days, we asked the person, say, hey, I want to work. We're going to go out there and do what we have to do. We're going to work. We're going to work with the team. We're going to bust our tails, working on the hot sun. And keep going and keep going. We ain't gonna stop until we go home, until we make our shackles. That means make your money. Minimum wage. If it's little or large, they should give you something large to earn. 
Yes, they should give you the loss to earn. No matter what you work for, they should give you hours to learn. The large amount of wage. I'm just letting you know, and I'm telling you, laziness is not good. Everybody work with somebody that's lazy. And laziness is not good. Atoso. It's not good. La Atoso. Below la atoso. It's not good. It's not good to be lazy. And that's all I want to say. Shalom. Shalom lick. Shalom. They say, Yahweh Shah. Yeshua Hamashiach. And Yah Baracha. And Yah Taba. And Yah bless. And y'all bless. And thank you for listening. Amen. And also, um, and also, and Aramay said the same thing. Tama, Tamata, Tamata, the Shah Shamaka, Shamaka. And it said the same thing on that chapter 2. On 1 Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians. Check them out. Chapter 4. Chapter 4, verse 11 to 12. And check out Harvard also. And also, they're talking to talk about the other, the other chapter, Timothy. You can check out also on Timothy. And also, they tell a lot more on Proverbs. On Proverbs. Talk about laziness. And you can check out the chapters. Timothy chapter... Chap, chip, second Timothy chapter 2, verse 6. Say the same thing. In a different meaning. It still lets you know that laziness is not good. Amen. Amen and Amen. Thank you.